Hey there everyone, they share back again with another video and welcome to the React Native series. I really want to ask you that we are putting up so much effort in putting the series, why are you not sharing it on LinkedIn? It boosts our morale. If one of your tweet, one of your share on LinkedIn, one of your share in your Instagram group or, link or WhatsApp group, it motivates me. Please, please, please do it. All right, so let's move on. In this video, we'll be talking something about which we have been using but we haven't studied the documentation of it and documentation is the most important. Let me show you what we uh, really want to do. So notice here that we have been using this onto our app.tsx. We have been using the safe area and the scroll view, but we never studied them. We just said, okay, scroll views, it simply gives you a scroll ability and that's it. But if you are going to be using it just like that, that is focused on tutorial itself, you will never understand. You'll never be able to crack interviews and will go in depth about what particular thing can do. The best way is to go through the documentation. Just like in JavaScript, you go in MDN. Here we have an official documentation. So just search for scroll view and lands up on the React Native page. The first thing that you're going to notice, obviously, is there is something known as flat list and scroll view and which one you should be using or which one you want to use. So they obviously say that a scroll view renders all of its React child component once, but it has performance downsize. On the other hand, there is a flat list component which actually lazily loads it when they are about to appear and removes items scroll away off the screen to save memory and processing. So we'll definitely talk about the flat list in some another of the video. That is not right now the focus, but this is ex exactly what happens. People who actually try to look for the documentation they end up learning a tiny bit more than they initially intended for. So now that we have this idea, a great article, a topic for the article on the hash node as well, scroll view versus flat list, some examples, that's for another day. Uh, you can definitely try it out, but I can see that there are some props available to me that, hey, uh, there are some Boolean values, like for example, horizontally true, false otherwise. So it can actually gives you some of the additional properties that you can use to make the scrolling effect instead of top to bottom, left to right, or horizontally in this case. So this is exactly what we'll be doing. So enough of the documentation learning, now let's jump on to the base one. So we have component, we'll create a new file, and this one, we'll call this one as elevated card. Uh, no such intention calling it as elevated, but feel free to call this anyone. Uh, we'll call elevated and uh, cards dot tsx. Yeah, looks good. And we'll be saying RNFS. Yeah, that's that's nice. Elevated cards that we have. All right, so how can I make these cards scrollable? There is no such uh, hidden magic. You already know how this is going to be achieved. So first and foremost, what I'm going to do is I'll just have the view here. I will have this text because I want to call this one as elevated cards. So we'll have this text uh, here. First, let's go into app.tsx. Let's bring it just below uh, we have a scroll view here, so flat card. Let's have this one as elevated cards and we'll have this. So, okay, elevated cards comes up and now we can borrow some of the properties from the flat cards, uh, especially the heading text. So let's go ahead and call this one as, let's copy this because there's no point of writing things again and again if we can copy them from our own code at least. And this looks good. And let's go ahead and provide some of the styling command here. And we'll say style, that is going to be styles dot heading text. And voila, same look achieved, pretty easy. All right, so this is good. Now, next up, obviously I want a scroll view effect. So I'll just go ahead and grab my scroll view, just like that. And in this scroll view, you can have a lot of properties, but first let's have the scroll view. And inside that, we'll have just a view, just like this. And this view is going to have some styling, but first let's have a text. And this text is going to say simply tap, just like we actually initially planned. Now, uh, tap is not gonna do anything at all. So let's first build this tap. So we're gonna have this view. Uh, this view is going to have style, just like previously we did. Uh, this one is going to be an array because I want to, uh, design it like that way so we'll have styles dot card which is not present as of now and we'll also have one more property which is styles dot elevated i'll just remove this here and we'll have as card and we'll say elevated 
this is not available as of now but we'll definitely have it in just a minute so it looks okay as of now let's go ahead and bring this properties so coming up here we'll be having a card let's keep it as blank so that it doesn't yell and we'll also have card let me copy that that would be better copy that paste that and let's have it all right now it's time that we make it look like a cardish so we need to give some of the styling properties again uh it's going to be like fundamentally easy it would be a little bit easy if we wrap everything like container just like we did in the card everything was wrapped around inside the container this let's go ahead and try this we can actually apply these properties here as well that's interesting to know a little bit new and let's call this one as container now i can reuse some of my properties from another one so i'll just have container just like this there we go all right should be good and let me just open up my metro hit a reload should be all done why are you panicking let me just read the errors it says style is container yep my bad it should be styles.container another debugging session there is no special teach us debugging no it doesn't work like that you have to read it you have to go through like that all right so now i can bring in my container and since we are not doing too much in the container it's exactly same we don't even need the direction and all of that this is the default we'll go through with that okay first one by one let's not copy paste too much in the container i'm going to add just a padding of eight as of now and the whole idea is to bring the card in so let's just go ahead and bring this card in the first couple of properties you know me uh, i'll just go ahead and give it a width of 100 and we'll also give it a height of 100 so that we can at least see that yeah that is there and uh, let's also we'll have some background color as well we'll give this into card elevated we'll go for a background color just like this and i do have a background color let me copy this and paste it save that and there we go uh, we definitely can play around with the cards and everything a little bit later uh, but right now let's just keep it as it is and uh, now inside this card let's play around with the flex we'll say flex of one and a couple of more common properties you might be knowing them align items we'll bring it to the center and oops just a second come on this is too much just a second and i'll fix the indentation there we go all right so this brings it to the center another one is justify content that one is center comma there we go all right so we can actually change the text color as well border margin like whatnot a lot can be changed up here now what I really want to do is have a copy paste of these cards, a lot of these cards, because that's what the goal is. And let's have a tap me to scroll and find something like that. So this was the initial one that we actually designed. So let's go ahead and change this. So we'll say tap me and we'll say two and we'll say scroll and we'll have more and we'll have just one more just for fun and have a duplicate and this time we'll be using some of the emojis here uh, so let's just use an emoji yeah that one looks nice and oops looks like there is some mistake uh, come on you should be getting an emoji come on yeah there we go let's save this and there we go we have this effect going on uh, this is not exactly what we wanted as a scroll view so we're going to just change it and that's just one property that we can go around and change it it just takes is horizontal so this is my scroll view and just like we have html properties we have this horizontal and all you got to do is mark it as true so we're going to go ahead and say true and there we go we have now this effect all right took me a while to actually fix this bug and all i have to do is restart my emulator so yes this will happen to you as well so that's why i'm not trimming off these sessions and these small bugs that i'm facing as well i looked on the internet uh, went into the internal uh, rabbit hole of what could go wrong 
Uh, by the end of the day, I found out that if I restart my emulator or just close the entire process, so I shut it down entirely, restarted it and it started working. Uh, by the way, there are a couple of more options as well. For example, uh, in the previous ones, you don't need to say explicitly mention it as true. You can just say horizontal. This will also give you the exactly same behavior, but I prefer it more to be a little bit more verbose. It gives my other uh, fellow programmers an idea of what exactly I'm trying to do. So this is all good. Now, only thing that's remaining for us is try to give this a little bit of a better look uh, just compared to being a boring scrawl. Uh, because that's it that's all we have to do uh, let's try by having a simple onto this card element let's give it a border radius so we're gonna say border radius and let's try it as four uh, that would be good enough there we go and let's try a little bit margin let's give it a margin all the side as eight this will give these cards a little bit of a card ish look there we go you can also try a little bit of these each card as some uh, color as well. Uh, let's get, uh, we ideally should be prop putting up a style property on each of these text. Uh, that would be an ideal case, but let's try uh, at least. Some of these things you obviously have to try color uh, and let's give it a color value of just like that and shouldn't be working yeah as expected because we should be tying up the text color property so that should be given into the style of this one i won't be doing that that much that would be too much of a work let's also try and play around with these card elevated so that i can show you some of the more properties uh, because obviously these things you need to learn uh, as we go further uh, learning them by watching is always a great idea you can also go ahead and some property you can try elevation uh, like you can, there is a lot of numbers you can play around with these elevation. This is not going to give it justice on the screen, but in case you are on 4K or something, you'll notice that there is a black bar at the bottom in case you want to have this. So if I'll comment this out, you'll see that the black bar is gone. The elevation is gone basically. If I try that again, and you'll notice that the black bar just comes up. So there we go. So you can try these properties. You can also try the shadow offset properties as well. So there's a shadow. Uh, I need to first put up a comma there, comma, and there is a shadow offset. And some of these properties are not just straightforward strings or numbers. They also can take another as an object uh, just like this. So shadow offset actually takes uh, just like this. You have to put up a comma here. And why are you yelling at me? The shadow offset is missing. Uh, what is it missing? Should I give the properties first? Then it will be okay. Yeah, then it is okay. So I can give a width of one and I also need to give it a height of one. So there we go. So some of these properties takes further off an object. If you want to really go and you can try to give that shadow offset. A shadow offset doesn't show up until unless you give the shadow color. So let's go ahead and give it a shadow color. And we're going to go a little bit of a hash 333. Uh, feel free to use all the colors they are not going to make much sense to you they make sense to me because i'm on 4k and i'm watching them uh, for you it might be a little bit difficult you have to use some uh, crazy colors to go down that off a path for example let's pick up a color uh, which is a bit of a red like that that obviously will be exaggerated not a good idea but in case you want to try this out uh, now you can see a little bit of a red shadows or if you want a background colors like that you get the idea. You get the idea. You can go all crazy. I won't be going that. I'll be using a little bit of a subtle look and subtle colors. And further, all the shadow properties are available just to show you up here. Uh, you can definitely try this out. There's a shadow opacity available to it. Uh, numbers ranging between uh, 0 and 1. So you can try out any number like 0 0.3, 0 0.4, whatever suits you. And according to the shadow of what you really want to go. There is also a shadow radius property available. Like how big you want the radius or the blur of the shadow to expand. And I'll just try two. Again, these numbers are trial and hit. You just go ahead and try them out. So I highly recommend you to go try it out. The goal of this video was to teach you a couple of properties. As well as some scroll views. As well as uh, you unexpectedly learn about a bug. Which was not a bug. It was just a restart requirement. Probably my system has recorded a lot of videos. I'll restart this after this video. That's all for this video. Hope you have enjoyed this. Let's go ahead and catch up in the next video.